Hello guys, I'm back again with another build update. This build is an update to the MQ Stacks build. And um, let me give you a quick run through. Here we have our movies, our TV shows, our hub, music, your networks, your sports, your kids section, your weather, your settings, and we're back to movies. Alright, in the widget on movies, this is the movies from your library, which you can add to the extended info mod. Alright, in the sub menu, we have Elysium, Exodus, Bubbles, Specto, Falcon, Skynet, Wolfpack, and Flixnet movies. Alright, next we have our TV shows, and these are the shows you could add. To your library from the extended info mod also they will appear here in the sub menu we have exodus tv shows elysium bubbles specto 24 7 shows and flicks next all right here we have our hub in the widget we have our genre section it's action romance documentary comedy Adventure, crime, drama, family, fantasy, history, horror, and music. Alright, I'm going to show you how to add these also. For instance, if you want to go to, let's say, let's go to action. It takes you straight to the action genre in the extended info mod. which you could play your movie straight from here you just click on a movie and then you press play and you'll have a list of add-on where you could play your movie from and also guys I'm gonna show you how to set up the Quasar add-on It's a like a torrent stream, a torrent stream I add on. All right, let's back up out of there. Um, let me show you the sub menu. Here's your next ad for your TV shows. Shows you what TV shows is coming up next. That's in your library. Alright. And here's your favorites folder. Alright, so let's go into hub. Let's go to all movies. Alright, to set up your um, your genre in your favorites, you slide to the left, you go to genre, and you pick any genre you want. Let's say you want to add, I've added the animation. Right? You scroll after you select your genre, you scroll down to edit filters. And then you'll add to your favorites folder. Alright, let's back out. You could do the same thing with um, the TV shows also. So let's go into our favorites folder. And you could delete um, which genre you don't want from here. In the genres you do want. This is what we just added. The animation. You could click on it. And it will take you straight to the animation category.
All right, let's back up out of there. And um, you could also add, you know, anything you want from the extended info mod to your library, your movies, your TV shows, just to build up your library. And they will appear here. All right, now keep in mind when you're in your favorites folder and you delete one of these, they will also delete from your wid your widget section up here. Okay, and you can add whatever genre you want up here. All right, here we have our music. We have beats, comma, and top 40. I just kept it simple this time around. Here we have our networks. Here's our Elysium Networks in a widget. All right, this is network um, CW. In our submenu, you have Deliverance, Falcon TV, TV One, Quantum, Cypher TV, and Exodus. All right, so this is your live TV. Let's go to TV One. Try a channel out. All right, let's try another one. As you already know, these channels come and goes. I cannot use you. Can I? All right, let's try one, one more. Let's try Comedy Central. You yeah, maybe I should tell a story. All right. Let's get out of back up out of there. Here we have our sports section. Here's our live premiership sports. In the sub menu, you have your DC Sports, Maverick, Vortex, UK Turk, and Deliverance. Here's our kids section. And you have Bob Kids, Falcon Kids, Quantum Kids, and Disney Collection. It's your weather information if you wish to add your weather. <clears throat> and here we have our settings. Under settings, that's where you'll find your add-on browser. This will take you to install from zip file. Your program add-ons, your video add-ons, your audio add-ons, your image add-ons, here's your file manager, and your exit and shutdown. Alright, it's a simple clean build, not too many add-ons. You could add more add-ons to it if you wish. All right, so let me show you how to install this. Let me switch the skin. All right, to make it easier. All right, since I didn't do a fresh install yet, so I'm gonna do a fresh install with you guys also. I'll, um, what you do is you'll go to add-ons Go to this little, no, excuse me. You go to the gear icon, 
all right and you'll go to file manager then you'll add source click on none and you'll add your source here the source will also be in the description all right this is the source that you're going to put there It's the Aries Wizard. All right, I've named it Magic. You can name it whatever you wish, and then hit OK. All right, after you've done that, you go to Add-ons, go to the little box icon on the top left, and then install from zip file. Scroll down to Magic, and then install it. I already have it installed so just wait for the notification to pop up saying it's installed and after that you'll want to go to install from repository and you scroll to Aries project and program add-ons and then Aries wizard okay so once that's done you go to your program add-ons and then click on the Aries wizard. Give it a few seconds to pop up. All right. So once you get to the screen, you can go to browse builds. And you'll scroll down till you see the name Steven. It's right here. All right. Once you see the guy in the suit with the red tie, you know when you're in the right section. You click on Steven. Since I didn't do a fresh start yet, I'll slide to the right and then hit fresh start. This will remove all add-ons. ECT from Cody. Are you sure? You click yes. And then proceed. All right, so once it's done, you click OK. Now you want to go back into Cody. You scroll down to add-ons, go into your Aries wizard, you gave it a, another moment to pop up, Alright, so once it's popped up, you go to Browse Builds, and you scroll down again to, you see Steven, alright, once you're there, you click on Steven, and then you'll scroll down to this particular build. The MQ Stacks build. Let me wait for the art to okay. So once you're here and you can see, you see the fan art, you know you're at the in the right place. You click on Krypton MQ Stacks build. And then you hit install, and then proceed. And also at the towards the end of the video, well, actually, when once we boot up into Cody again, I'll show you how to set up the the Quasar um, add-on. And it's best if you have um, you know some space in your device. You know, if you have 
you know, a, a external hard drive or anything like that, you know, it's better if you have one of those or, you know, you have, mem you know, you have space on your um, device. And also it's, um, it's best to use a VPN with it. Just give it a couple of minutes to store. You could fast forward if you wish. As you can see this bill is more on the heavy side so it's not ideal for a fire stick at all. It's 478 megabytes. Hmm. Well, we're almost there. And also, thank you guys for watching my channel. And I thank you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really do. Uh, All right, almost there. A couple of more seconds. A couple more seconds, then it'll start extracting the files. And uh, most of the builds that I, I put up, you know, I just try to use add-ons that, you know, would work most of the times. I know not, not all of the add-ons are perfect. You know, everybody has their own favorite add-ons and stuff like that. I can't, don't want to add like a whole bunch of add-ons, 
you know, as soon as the add-on comes out, a new add-on, and then three weeks later, it stopped working, you know? I'd rather have the, the add-ons in the build that work, that's been around for a while. You know, not too much going on in the add-on itself. Because I don't know who maintains it. It could be one person maintaining the add-on and, you know, it has a whole bunch of stuff in there. At some point, some of the stuff will stop working. So I try to, you know, keep the build simple and clean and You know, easy to navigate. You don't really need a whole bunch of add-ons. You know, if you watch a certain sport, you know, uh, there's room for you to add your own add-on for whatever sport that you are uh, um that you watch. All right, so now we're just gonna wait for the dialog box. So here it is. It says, do you want to back up skin profile? You hit no. Thanks for using Aries. Prizes every week, you hit no. Then hit okay. All right, so now we'll go back into Cody. All right, you give it a a minute or two to to work in the background. Let us do its thing. Let it populate everything. All right. Now I'm um, scanning content. All right, let me show you how to set up the Quinsar add-on. All right, let me go to settings, the video add-on. You'll go to Quinsar right here. You hit the context button, a long press button to get to this menu, your context menu. You scroll down to settings. All right. You have to slide to the right and you'll select your download path. All right. So I'm on my NVIDIA shield. So let me back out so I can show you. Once you go into it. You know, you go to an external device because it builds up. You know, if you want to download your movies or your TV shows, it will build up. So it's not recommended for, you know, devices that can't hold that much, you know, that much memory. So I'll go to my external. And I just go to my downloads. I had named a movie, uh, a folder named Movies, and I just clicked on it and then hit OK. All right, and that's all you need to do. And you'll scroll down and then hit OK. All right, sometimes it'll it's recommended to um close your Cody and then go back into it so it can activate all right or, or if it's already activated just change your download path all right let's go into Quinsaw let's go to movies let me show you how it operates let's go to most popular And um, I 
Let's try calm. All right, now you have your 1080p, 720, so on and so forth. So you're looking for the ones that has the most cedars, more cedars than leeches. That's what I do. Click on it. And now it's buffering. And like I said, God, make sure you have a VPN if you're using this feature. All right, you give it a moment to do its thing. All right, so here you go, it's playing the movie. Alright, as you can see, it's downloading. Now, let's say I don't want to watch the movie no more. I just back out and it asks me to keep downloading. I just hit no. So nothing is downloaded to the folder that I just showed you. So nothing is downloaded to that folder. Alright, you can add more providers also if you want to. You just go down. You go to providers. You go to Quinsaw Burst. It's your providers. And you have more providers, more torrent. More torrents to stream from right here. All right, here's your resolutions, your release types, advance, so on and so forth. But make sure you um, set up, make sure you set up the where you want the, um, the torrent to be downloaded to and make sure it's away from your device. If you have an external external drive or a memory card or anything, I, I, I think it's better to do that and then um, make sure you use a VPN. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the build. And if you're, if you're new to my channel, hit the thumbs up and um, pl please subscribe. Thank you.